Hi, I'm John, and welcome back to another insurance lesson. Today we're going to be talking about life insurance, and specifically why people need life insurance, and some of the ways to determine how much you need. First of all, I wanted to say that life insurance is probably the most uncomfortable thing that as agents we have to deal with or talk about, just because of all of the things we do, dealing with mortality and what might happen with somebody's death is the most horrifying thing that we can talk about. The reality is though that sometimes tragic things do happen to good people and we want to make sure that our clients are prepared for when those things happen if they do ever happen. Within life insurance there are a lot of types of policies out there but I want to say there's really no one size fits all policy. Um, the type of policy that you buy is dependent on your situation at a specific time in your life and what those needs are at that specific time. So for example, when two people are newly married, their needs as newlyweds are going to be different than their needs maybe five or six years later when they have two kids the things that they have to plan for around three people or four people instead of two people are much different. Um, so throughout your lifetime, starting from the time that you're a child through the time that you're an older, retired, and at the end of your lifespan person, if you need and have life insurance, your needs throughout any one of those times is going to be different. And consequently, the type of policy that you need to purchase is also going to be different. So we're not going to talk today about the types of policies. We're going to save that for your future lesson. But what we're going to talk about today is really just determining how much life insurance you should have at any given time. And we try to simplify this down to just three or four things. And it kind of varies depending on the different formulas that agents use. But at the end of the day, we're all really looking at about the same things. So first of all, we want to look at a person's debts and what if, if they were suddenly out of the picture, what debts would have to be paid by their estate. And we want to make sure we can cover that with their life insurance. The second thing we might need to look at is what kind of income are they providing to their family at this very point in time. If they're retired and they're not necessarily providing an income from a family, that's maybe not important. But if they're in their mid-20s or early 30s and they have three young kids, it's going to be difficult to replace that income. So we want to look out what kind of income do they have and then plan 15, 20, 25 years down the road so to make sure that we account for the loss of income that, they might, that, that might happen if they're no longer around. We want to look at if they're homeowners and if they have a, a mortgage uh, because that's a substantial amount of money that the life insurance can take care of if um, if somebody's suddenly not there so we want to look at their mortgage and then finally we want to look at expenses and so we want to look at if it's a family that have, that is uh, that still has young kids and they had planned for college education for those kids we want to look at the expenses that they may have to that, that would be covered under the life insurance policy. So looking at debts, we're looking at income. If there's a mortgage, we want to look at the mortgage. And then if we then we want to look at the expenses that might be taking place. The most substantial of those expenses would be educating children. Um, but those expenses could be any expenses such as final expenses or burial expenses. So adding all of those things together and then taking a look at any specific policies a person already has, putting all of that information together will determine how much life insurance somebody should have. So that's kind of a high level nutshell in some of our future lessons we're going to be talking about specific types of policies, how they would be designed to cover all of those that cover that amount and different ways to potentially combined types of life insurance policy so that you get different benefits depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So in essence, it's a subject that we don't like to talk about all the time. It's a necessary subject though and we really want to make sure that people are educated when they're talking about it so that they can make the best decisions for the best policies for them. So thanks for listening today, and any questions, of course, call us at 303-443-1288, or you can email me at jstringfellow at farmersagent.com. Bye-bye.